Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome to um this month. I mean, not this month. <laughs> this week's how do they feel about you? Pick a card reading. Um, today I have three piles, and I'm going to actually pull for all three piles on camera. Let me see. Um, I'm going to put some sticky notes. So we got pile one, pile two. Pile three. So, I want you to pick the pile that resonates with you the most. I'm gonna give you a couple seconds. Um, let me see if I can try to. There we go. Pile three piles. How they feel about you right now? Whoever you're thinking about. Okay. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video. With that being said, I'm about to get started on. Uh, when I heard uh, Drake Grease, this song lyrics start playing in my head. I don't know if I got, we're going to see if that has something to do with the pile or just because I love Drake so much. But anyway, uh, so the card that you got is the Strength card. Okay, okay. Leo Energy, Leo Energy. I am a Leo. Happy birthday, Leos. Um, so you got this, star, this Strength Energy. And there is a lion. Let's see. There is a lion and a butterfly in the sun. So I feel like this is your person. As you can see, look at the, um, y'all gotta excuse my nails. But look at the, um, if you're a female asking about a guy, I believe that the sun is you. You guys both may be sun signs. I feel like the relationship has been a little rocky, but they're okay with that because they like you so much. So they're willing to keep climbing towards you so they're willing to keep working for this relationship you make them really happy they feel like they're chasing their happiness look at this um this lion's face like yes he's climbing up this mountain and of course it's hard but at the same time like he knows there's a war up there so i think your person's really really happy i really like this energy it's a good start it's a good start let me get a couple more energies um a couple more images before i go on words if you're new here hi i'm an intuitive reader which means i go by what the cards look like versus what they actually mean or what they say sometimes it depends whatever pops out whatever pops out on the card whether it be a word or an image that's what i go by Okay, we got more rocks, and we have a demon-like fighter here. Your, your guy might be a little big. They feel, okay, so I'm getting a story here. They're willing to keep fighting for you, and I feel like maybe, um, maybe you have a lot of holes. <laughs> like, not in that way. But maybe like you, you know, you might be a little bit of a hot girl. You might have a lot of options, but they know that ultimately they're going to win the battle with all your options. They're willing to go through whatever, it's whatever, whatever. Because as you see, this uh, this word right here is collecting heads. Like they're not coming to play games. They're coming to fight for you. So that's how they feel about you right now. Like they don't care who else you're talking to. They want you. All right, let me get some images to confirm. How's Power One person feeling about them right now? You know, a lot of people always say that, a lot of people say that people complain about the shuffling. I haven't had nobody comment about my shuffling yet. And I, I feel like I'm like one of the laziest shufflers, but I feel like whatever meant to pop out was just meant to pop out. You feel me? Okay, so it's good things to come with this person. This person talks about you a lot, a little bit too much. Like they, all, you're constantly on their mind. They're constantly talking about you. They think you're really, really beautiful. Yeah, they like you. They have no bad things to say about you. <sighs> let's see what the um. My fact before I see what your angels have to say. Let's see what the outcome. No, let's see what the angels got to say. What do the angels have to say about this relationship? What do your angels, what does Power One's angels or ancestors have to say? Or what does, any, you know, anyone in the um, the 5D uh, higher self, you know who I'm talking to. What do y'all got to say about this relationship? Angels and ancestors come through. 
Relationship Harmony. This is something they put together. One more, one more, I need one more card. I need one more card. Yeah, this is gonna be a good relationship. Congratulations. I like to see happy readings, you know? Especially in this world we live in right now. I'm trying to see this. I think I have something else to say. Okay, so you got gifts from God, you got beloved one, and you got comfort. You might have never been in a, uh, a good relationship like this because you might have always been used to guys that give you mixed signals. I'm hearing that for some of you, but that's so it's, it's gonna be okay because this is gonna be a victory. This is a gift from this is from like this from gifts from God. This came from God, this came from spirit, this came from your ancestors. They want you to know they love you, and this is serious. These are serious basis is gonna turn on something serious. I'm happy for you, honestly. Cause shit. <laughs> All right. Okay. How is what's the outcome of uh, the relationship between Power One and that person? You got the Ten of Pentacles. Anytime you get Pentacles, really good is really good. Anyway, but I don't go by the um the meaning. But this person uh, worship you. They feel like you're so beautiful. Look, you got two peacocks here. You might want to look up whatever the spirit animal um, pe peacock is. Whatever the, the spiritual meaning of peacock is, you may want to look that up because you did get two of them here. But either way, this person thinks you're so beautiful. They think you're a queen or a king, but I'm getting a lot of female energy. They think you're so elegant. They just want to give you everything. You see how this these leaves are fanning this um, peacock here? Yeah, this person thinks you're really beautiful. And they're willing to you know, go the extra mile for you. And that's the um, outcome of this relationship. So, I'm really happy for you guys. Let me know if it resonates. It looks so happy. It makes me wonder, like, what made you, or maybe you're just curious. Because I don't see anything dark here. I feel like you kind of see this a little bit. Maybe, I don't know. And I'm, I'm not getting insecure. I heard insecure, but I'm not getting the only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. Okay, that's your quote for leave you, that I'm gonna leave you with. I believe that believe I believe that um maybe when you met this person, you was like, I don't know about this person. But this person is making a choice. They're giving up something. And making that choice, however that resonates, they're making a choice to come after you. Made me think, like, because maybe that's why it's a lot of rocks here. Maybe it started off rocky with a lot of mixed signals or whatever it was. And at first you couldn't see. You couldn't see. You can't see this gift, but it's coming. They're making a choice. They're making a choice to be something else for you. That's how I see it. All right, so however that resonates for you, please let me know. Please let me know down below. I love to hear how, you know, my, if my pick cards resonate with you guys and what you guys think. It really means a lot to me. It helps me to know to keep going. Um, with that being said, we're going to move on to pile two. Here I go. <sighs> Getting tired. Y'all know how I am. Every time I get in a reading, I don't know. Like, I feel like, well, I've always been sensitive anyway. Because I've by accident dated a lot of narcissists or people with succubus energy because I'm an empath. Um, so I guess when every time I do something that I got with my energy, it like sucks it out of me and I get really tired. Anybody else get really tired? Um, okay. So the card you got is, the first card you got is uh, the Queen of Pentacles. This will be a happy card, but... Let me pull something out. Because these four butterflies are bothering me. And I'm getting freedom from that. Because usually when I got that last time, I felt like it was a hug. But this is something different. This feel like... This is too many cards. Let me try one more time. I think that was an accident. Okay. Not an accident. Hermit. I ain't going to take that one. It flipped over a little bit. But I ain't going to take that one. Out. This look like, okay. Let me move my car, because I got the story. Yeah, oh, okay. No, let me, let me get, okay. Yeah. 
yeah what's in there yeah yeah okay okay yeah 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 okay i don't like this person already i don't like this person i don't think yeah no i don't like this person okay your person has options See, because like you last time I got this car last week's meeting, it felt like whoever, whatever pal picked this was really happy. But this week I'm getting something different. This is like the butterfly is the main thing that stood out to me. And honestly, I never noticed these butterflies before. That's the beautiful thing about picking a car, about uh, a tarot readings. Like, I just like looking at the cars and always notice something new. But anyway, the four butterflies stuck out to me. But these, these, uh, these four butterflies is bitches. <laughs> these is hoes your person is like they like being free what zodiac sign has the antlers maybe a capricorn they like the smile hair they like to spread their love around a lot of soul ties they may have a lot of soul ties and a lot of options a lot of options that look good to them you might be this end butterfly here but they like having all these options I feel like they feel like um, their part higher person feels like now they want to go out and explore. Maybe you guys were already in a relationship or dating exclusively or something made them feel tied down or like trapped or maybe just quarantine. One of those three things, but they're ready to get out and have fun and go exploring with this hermit car, which is like this uh, Yeti leaving his cave, but he ready to be out with that drip. Then you got this card. But this card don't feel like their energy. This feel like your energy. This shit feel hostile. Maybe you feel a little hostile towards them. You feel like you guys is always fighting. You feel like you guys are always in competition. Like somebody always try to take your spot. Or this can mean the person is really guarded as well. And, and willing to fight anyone off that's trying to get to their, their warm spot, that soft spot. Take it how it resonates. You know if you know if you always fight for this relationship or if they have a, a high guard up. But either way, y'all in an entanglement. And that's why I say I don't like this person. These three cards right here is making me not like this person. Because when I first, when I got this, the first thing I heard was entanglement. This person got a lot of people in their energy, a lot of soul ties, a lot of options. Then I, this card came out to solidify. It's like an entanglement. The person might have a lot of fire in their chart. A lot of fire, a lot of earth, because two chains on this side and only one on these sides. But yeah, some type of entanglement. Hmm. First, it might be a Leo. Leo, I'm getting Leo or Capricorn. They smile on your face, but they really a snake. See how this line is smiling, but it has a snake for a tail. Yeah, they smile on your face, but this person is really a snake. I don't like this person. Let's get some words to confirm. How's Paul 2's person? I'm not going to take that because that was too. How's Paul 2's person going about the uh, peaceful magic? They feel like they got you in the palm of their hands. They do feel at peace with you. I heard happy home. But this could be like one of those situations where a guy, I'm gonna keep saying guy, well, whoever masculine energy who you are asking about, they like to roam and have other entanglements. But maybe you do have their heart, or like you was the only one that was able to get to their heart. 
this can mean two things like either you have their heart and you'll you'll know you'll know if it for a small amount of you you guys have their heart like they like that they like to um to roam but you have their heart for the large amount of you again you see how this this heart door is closed I feel like their this heart door is closed and it's also wheels on it like this this person always on the go like they don't let their heart rest in one place They like to play a lot. Play people. That's a lot of player energy. Just for a lot of you. A lot of you guys, this person don't like to settle down. They're a rolling stone. What's the outcome of this relationship with how two's person? You got some swords. They don't look good. I feel like your head going to be a little messed up. This is a very depressing card. I don't like this. This is it's just it's really dark and this lady doesn't look happy. She holding this sword. Princess of Cups. And she holding this cup and it's a long a lot of dark energy. Even if you do experience heartbreak, it's okay. And remember, this is only the energy right now. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, pick a cards are not set in stone. So this is the energy they have right now. You know what I'm saying? Pick cards are not set in stone. And you always can change the outcome. You are controlling your life. This is just, you know, it's just energy. A pick a card is not about energy pickup. Because I don't want you to start panicking and all that stuff. Like, I don't know why I felt the need to say that. But it's not that deep. Teaching and learning. So this, the um, angels want you to know this relationship is just a lesson. I wouldn't worry about it too much. You probably got someone better coming in. Check again. Check. Um, I'm probably going to do another pick a card. Um, what's coming? I was trying to do three tonight, but I don't know because I'll be tired. So, what's the quote to leave you with? Because I don't need to go no further. Because I feel like whoever picked Pile 2 know this already. I think it's obvious. Because it says, we do... We do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. All right, so basically you need to know your worth. I feel like I feel like you know this person is a player. I feel like you know this person is a player. You know they got this player energy. You know that. But um, you need to take your power back, and you need to um, you need to take your power back, and you need to just leave this person. Just leave this person and go about your business. You probably got someone better coming in. It's always when you lose something or something teaches you a lesson like that, it's just preparing you for something better so you won't lose what you're about to get. But that's okay. You know, a lot of, a lot of guys are broken like this. You know what I'm saying? They feel like they need attention from multiple people. Or well, they just don't want to be tied down right now. It don't have nothing to do with you, though. It don't have nothing to do with you. All right, if that, if, that was, if that was your pile, please let me know. Let me know how it resonates. Thank you guys for watching so much. With that being said, I'm going to um, move on to pile two. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, pile three. This is your reading. Right, hit a cup. Hey. First card up is a ten of cups. Damn, that motherfucker popped out. Drop that motherfucker. You heard that song? You got a lot of snake, a lot of snake and dragons. Smooth, I heard smooth. This person is from a sexual, obviously. Let me get one more image. It's a lot of darkness, but it don't seem bad. This person wants to pick you up, take you somewhere. Where do they want to take you at? This one a little bit unclear. It don't look bad, though. Let's see. I need my sexual tail deck. Gin a bottle. I'm not going to take that many. The person may have a lot of tattoos. Like, they go to the gym. We got a lot of reptile energy here. I don't know why I feel like I gotta keep pulling, but I'm trying to understand. This is a little confusing. That's all right. 
this person definitely wants to have sex with you. Okay. Yeah, they definitely want to have sex with you. I had to get all these images and I still don't understand. Something is... Because I, I, I'm getting sexual energy, but I'm not sure why. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sure why. It's a lot of working out, a lot of touching, a lot of stroking, a lot of penis. It's also confusing. I think I think this person is sh is shy. They're not trying to really come through the reading. I don't think they talk to you much either. You might not notice about this person. Peace. I'm gonna leave this here because if a pop that was meant to be there, home. Engagement. All right. So yeah, this person likes you. Sorry, I gotta pull so much cards for pop for me because I'm trying to understand. Because it's kind of all over the place. I feel like either multiple energies. Or this person doesn't know how they feel, but they know they feel sexual. Good things to come. I keep getting a lot of the same cards. Sometimes I'd be nervous. I'm like, why well, I keep getting the same cards? But I mean, I feel like if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I know I'm shuffling good. Give me one more word because I'm confused. Let it go. This person is definitely coming towards you. They're letting go of something. And you got a lot of reptile energy in here. Look at all this reptile energy. Communication. Look at all this look at all this reptile energy. Look up what reptiles mean as a spirit animal. Cause you really got a lot of reptile energy here. Why is there so many reptile energy? All these little dinosaurs do look happy though. Are reptiles maybe some type of significance? Maybe they have reptiles. But it's like, look at, look, you can't deny it's so much reptile energy here. So many reptiles. But these remind me of penis. I don't know why. Forbidden fruit. All right, let me see what the angels got to say. Because this this person is confused. Because, bitch, I'm confused. What do y'all got to say? Why don't you give me some clarity? Spiritual understanding. Yeah, look at what reptiles, snakes. Look at snakes. I know snakes. Snakes um, mean some type of transformation. They might be going through some type of transformation in front of your eyes. Let them go of something. Comfort, outdoors, they ship harmony. Pay attention. Yeah, I think they're going through some type of spiritual awakening, and that's why it's confusing. That's like a side note. I don't even know, but I, you can't control what energies come through here. I'm trying to figure out how they feel about you, but I'm getting very sexual energy. But it's more it's not more so with you, this is how they feel about you. I Man, I know this reading is all over the place, but honestly, that energy right now is all over the place. This never really happened before, cause I it's like I got confused before, but this is confusing a lot. This is I feel like this person is all over the place, and this is something this is something else, and I don't think that I'm meant to get into where the hell this is. But how they feel about you is this, or this is how they about the, this is how they had to feel about you. But no, this is how they feel about you. They want you to ride that pony. They want to. They want to take care of you. They want you to ride off in the sunset with them. You're like a, a fantasy for them. But right now, they look like they're going through something. That's what they, all this up here look like. They're going through something. Some type of something. What's the outcome? Maybe the reptiles is like solidifying something for you. Either it's solidifying for you, something for you, or they're going through that spiritual awakening. This I'm getting a lot of third eye energy. I heard they see, they see it, they see you. This person is 
first is open in that third eye. This is too many cards. Yeah, that's it. I don't think I'm supposed to get too much into whatever this is. And I, I know that doesn't make sense. But whatever this is, I don't feel like it's meant for me to get into that. Maybe next week they'll let me in. But this week, it's like they're giving me a lot of nothing. You know what I'm saying? They gave you a little bit of comfort. Like, they basically saying they feel good about you. But something is going on here that has nothing to do with you. Like, this is this is separate. I don't know what this is, though. That's what I'm trying to figure out what this is. What is this? Give me a quote. Tell me what this is. I'm going to get two quotes because that, sometimes that helps. This is messy. But this is this is how I place the cards wherever, how to tell. Like, however I feel they should be placed. And it feels like it should be messy. This feels like a big pile of, like, just mess. But I don't think that has nothing to do with how they feel about you. Though. I just feel like that's how they feel right now inside. They might not be really thinking about you like that. But deep side, like, not to be ignorant, but they might have a lot of other stuff on their mind. The most effective way to do it is to just do it. So, I'm gonna quote. I've never seen that one before. I think that you should just go with the flow. I feel like that quote is for you, and they're saying go with the flow because this person going through something right now. Let's see. You know, there is no question. There is no greater gift you can give. Or receive then to honor your calling. It is why you were born and how you become most truly alive. Okay. This person going through some of their own. Some type of transformation. Some type of something. Some type of something. But this is not for you to interfere with. Let them go through whatever they go through. They may be being distant right now. But they're going through something. On their own. And I can't tap into it. Because it's, not, it's none of your business. I feel like it's none of your, it's, it's confusing me and spitting out because it's none of your business, so therefore it's none of my business. So it's not letting me tap in. Like if I could, if I really sit here all day and go through like my other tail deck, this one right here, because this one is really my storyteller, but this is shit will have us here for like an hour. So if I, I could probably, I could really break it down, but I don't feel like I'm meant to. I feel like this is, this is their business and that's what their mind is right now it's confused it's a mess they're going through i think a spiritual awakening maybe shedding and healing and that's a good thing for you because when they come out of it then you know good things are to come and you know your guys will probably start really serious to date and stuff like that because they really do like you but right now you, like my advice for you is just to go with the flow and let them answer their calling they they definitely going through a transformation yeah, so that was your reading pile three. If it resonates, please let me know. And again, don't pressure this person. I'm not saying take no shit, but I don't think they give you shit. I think you're just confused, but not like, it's, I heard you think they being a manipulative, but they really not. It's all in your head. So I feel like they not really doing nothing, but it's like they not really doing a lot either. But maybe you taking it personally, but it's not personal. I feel like they going through their own little thing right now. But you remember, it is a rise in consciousness on the entire planet right now. So I think that that is what they're experiencing. And that is why they acting weird, which is probably why you came to this reading. But... It's none of your business, bro. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> it's none of your business. Whatever is over here. Because sometimes, like, you could be with somebody and be in love with someone. It, be married to someone. If God want to do something with them separately, you know, it's a mess with somebody. If God want to do something with them separately, that's what God going to do. Or how, most how whoever you believe in is going to do. You can't always be involved in everything. And that, that right there is none of your business. That's their business. Anyway, thank you guys for watching my reading. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>